A committee of China experts in New York hosted a discussion today sounding alarm about the Chinese Communist regime's predatory practices in economic and finance fields and calling for a tougher response from the United States. NTD reporter Jeremy Sandberg was on location. The Committee on the Present Danger, China, or CPDC, was launched in Washington on March 25th by national security practitioners, business leaders, experts on China, and religious freedom and human rights activists. The Committee on the Present Danger, everything we're talking about today, is not about the Chinese people. It is to help free the Chinese people. The enemy is very clear. It's the enemy of the Chinese people. That is a radical cadre of the CCP. The mission statement of the committee is to help defend America through public education and advocacy against all dangers posed by the Chinese communist regime. Each year, China steals hundreds of billions of dollars of U.S. intellectual property. Some people say it's only $150 billion. Other people say $600 billion. But whatever it is, it's much too large. We have an innovation-based economy. If we cannot commercialize our innovation, we do not have an economy of the future. Where are these companies doing business? What kind of leverage do we have? How many of them are doing business in American cities? How many are listed on the New York Stock Exchange or NASDAQ or trading over the counter in our markets? I mean, these are going to be relevant questions. This is 21st century war fighting. This is not about the Chinese people. This is not even about the nation of China. The Chinese people are among the most hardworking and decent people in the world. Right now we have a global financial system, a global economic system that allows this radical cadre in this totalitarian dictatorship in China to enslave their own people behind a firewall and with social, social media scores and social credit. Okay? And, they, and, they've, and they've allowed to enslave the Chinese people. That is just not acceptable. And, and so I think the takeaway today is that America's got to stop financing it. We've got to start asking hard questions, and corporate America's got to stop supporting it. The conference was called the Chinese Communist Party's Unrestricted Economic Warfare Against America. An entity that has for decades actually been at war with the United States. China is conducting unrestricted warfare against the United States, and this challenge is multifaceted. It is military diplomatic, technological, it is ideological, and it's political. By the way, Jay Clayton of Sutherland and Cromwell, who's the head of the SEC, with one stroke of the pen, he can take care of a lot of these problems of just a level playing field. First off, full disclosure by the Chinese companies. Just have the Chinese companies have full disclosure like the American companies have. That will stop a lot of the fraud and a lot of this money going to the CCP that's being raised on Wall Street right now. The struggle is going to be determined, I believe, by the country which has the stronger economy. This is the fourth time the Committee on the Present Danger has been formed. Starting in 1950, it has responded to the threat from the former Soviet Union, terrorism, and now China's Communist Party, a threat that most experts agree is much bigger and more sophisticated than the Soviet Union ever posed. Jeremy Sandberg, NTD News.